hate back bends and want to work on your back bends and the silk like me, this routine is for you. to do the second part of this routine. So uh, do keep that in mind. If you're not used to climbing, this only requires one climb, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, if you have a low ceiling, it's not too high and you're not too tall, then it's a routine that you can do because you don't have to do a lot of climbs. So it's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, welcome. On this channel, we help to break down different routines for aerial hoop, hammock, silks, and pole. Uh, basically all things across those four aerial apparatuses. And we provide you with tips that, uh, that help us along our journey with transitions and training. So if that is something you're interested in, then you should subscribe to our channel. And also remember to invite your bestie to subscribe as well so that you guys can train together and train together with us. Yeah. Okay, so now we should talk a little bit about safety. Of course, safety is super important. So we need to make sure that we're safe at all times so we can practice for a long time. So let's do a quick safety check. Make sure that you have your equipment. Make sure that you have a crash mat. That's the most important thing that you can have. Don't practice without one. Check everything to make sure that it's in tip top shape first before you practice. Make sure that you warm up well and cool down well before and after you practice aerial. If you're looking for ideas for that, we have tons of warm-up videos. You can find them right up here. So be sure to check that out. If you're looking for ideas for that, go do that first before you practice. Make sure that you're wearing the right clothing. Um, this routine will like focus on wrapping, like crocheting your leg, and you will feel some friction against your foot, which is why we opted to wear socks for this routine. So you could do that, maybe add a little resin to it. That will make it a little more comfortable. We're also wearing leggings if you're not used to the feeling of the fabric. And then make sure you have your spotting buddy. Make sure you have someone to practice with. Um, that can be your GPS in the air and also be around if something happens or call someone. Yes, okay, I think this is all, right? Yeah, music. Oh, right, sorry, music. So we never have the music synced up to this video. You can always find the music synced up to a short that we release the day before this tutorial comes out. And we will leave that short right up here. But for silks, it's always longer than a minute. So if you want to see it, because usually we have to release two shorts and we have to see them, they're not really together. You can hop onto our Instagram accounts and check them out there. We do release them on our Instagram account. The link to our Instagram accounts are down below. 
you can also come back to this channel on Friday and watch a video that we release. It's a YouTube video so you can see bigger and better and brighter with the music that we do it to so you can see what it's like moving to the music and the cues and so on. But we will also leave you a link to the song that we use along with the timing in which we get started down in the description below. Yeah. Now I think we've covered it. Yes. Okay. Nice. Let's get started. Hey guys, so Karina is going to help us break down this routine. So uh, we're starting off with our starting spin, which is basically just a spinning climb. Um, a spinning basic climb, that is. So we're starting with our hands high on the fabric. And then we're going to have our left leg in front and our right leg behind us. Um, you're going to swing your right leg forward while you, uh, you know, make your first climb. Step on the fabric, and then you're going to do a slow wave up. Then you can adjust your hands to bring yourself a bit higher before you do a single leg foot lock. That's our starting spin. From here, you can wave up, and then we're gonna do our second pose, which is ballerina. You're going to bring your body in front of the fabric by twisting to the side with your leg out. So the fabric should run across your back, and under your armpit, you're going to grab your leg behind the fabric so that the fabric is under your armpit but you're still grabbing your leg. This is how it should look in the back. From here, you release that other arm and the fabric should keep you in place. From there, you're going to release your arms. You're going to bring your body to face the fabric again. From here, you can wave up and separate the fabric first before releasing your foot lock. Now you're not dead hanging, you're holding yourself in a pull up before you straddle invert and crochet your left leg. Send that right leg behind, wrap your right hand below you a couple times. And then from there, you've gotta bring the fabric around you so that it is on your inside leg. You can bring that by, do that by sending it to the back first or to the front, it's up to you, your preference. When it's between your legs, you're going to go ahead and wrap that fabric from the inside, outside, around your ankle. Nice. Okay, and then you can hold both tails together, pull the fabric up, and get ready to add some spin. So Karina, you don't need to add spin here. From there, when you've gotten enough spin, you're going to bend your back and point your leg behind you to do this back bendy position. You're pulling both tails, but you're pulling them separately on each side. Hold that pose for a bit, and then you're going to release your crochet leg at the knee, bend it at the knee to create your second pose. Second peak pose, I should say. And then hold that for a little while. Now, when you're done to end this, uh, this routine, you're going to release the fabric from your ankle. Great, and then you're gonna grab both tails with your hand that's below you. Okay, and then from there, release your crocheted leg, and then you can do a flag, and that's the end of this routine. Thank you, Karina.
Yeah. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to leave us a like. Um, that really helps us spread uh, these videos to other people like you who enjoy this. And maybe if you found, you know, this intermediate routine just a little too challenging and you want to come back and revisit that later and you want something in the middle, we do have a beginner routine that we're going to leave for you that we think you should try. Doesn't have a straddle and doesn't require any climbing. Everything is done from a single leg foot lock. So you can give that one a try and then try this later on again. Yes, yeah, so you can find that video right here on the screen and yeah. Give it a try and let us know how you what you thought about it. Yeah. Until next time. Bye! bye.